For Asian cooking, garlic is like money. It never enough. Just putting five slices in yeah, there. That's Don't not tease enough. us with your five little slices of garlic. Nephew suit guy, use the right amount, Fusuka. not the white amount. Parsley. Mm. Parsley. Mm -mm. Into Filipino adobo. Parsley don't belong in Asian food. You're not making pasta. Uh, parsley in adobo. What the f? What <laughs> the f? Chef Brian Tao here, not your typical chef, owner of Mission Sandwich Social, located right here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, winner of Beat Bobby Flay season one. And today I'm going to be reacting to Uncle Roger Hate Food Network Adobo. We review nephew Jeffy Sakarian making Filipino adobo. This dish has many variations. Yeah, Jeffrey Zakarian, uh, I know him best for being a judge on Chopped. Never like been to any of his restaurants, really don't know him outside of the Food Network world. He's clearly very famous, very well established, and I really know him as the guy who wears suits all the time. <laughs> Everybody make it different way, so it's hard to pick up. But this nephew Jeffrey, he wearing suit to make Asian food. I, uh, Uncle Roger don't have good feeling about this. making a traditional dish of Filipino adobo. Oh, yeah. I can okay. smell the spice though. There's something Chicken spicy thigh. Jeff Morrow. In a bag. Jeremy. Who the people sitting down? Very important. Some low sodium soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Low sodium. By the low sodium. Oh, always. Uh, Why? Low sodium soy sauce is soy sauce with less flavor. Yeah. Who wants yeah, that? I agree with that. Uh, yeah. Don't be pussy, buy regular soy sauce. Fully agreed. Don't be a pussy, buy regular soy sauce. You get a little bit of sodium, uh, Always what? buy the low sodium. Oh, always, uh, very inexpensive white vinegar. I love how Jeffrey does not give a sh about what anyone is saying to him. <laughs> Oh, always. Uh, very inexpensive white vinegar. Vinegar, correct? Okay, Maybe vinegar, yeah. More. So chicken adobo is like a very savory, um, you know, slightly sweet, vinegary, you know, stewed protein type of deal. He's doing it with chicken thighs. The one that I am uh, had most often is um, pork adobo with pork belly. So I lived in uh, mainland China for a few years, and there were a lot of these Filipino cover bands at places that I would hang out at. There was one band in particular where I befriended, and I hung out with them all the time, and chicken adobo was something they made all the time, and actually they had it ready waiting for them, but I actually managed to get there when they were making a fresh batch and watch them do it, and we had the best time ever. So that's my background of how I learned to make chicken adobo. Right. Some said brown sugar. Sugar, good. Sugar, Black yeah, pepper, sugar. a good amount of black, black pepper. pepper. Okay, usually we use pepper corn. Habanero. Yeah, use pepper corn. Oh. Habanero, habanero. No habanero. What are you putting in there? Habanero. Oh. Habanero. Hiya. Habanero, don't even grow in Philippines. What you doing? Filipino food's not really known for spice. I would say it's on the sweeter side. Not really known for spice. Uncle Roger also mentioned that, oh, you know, habaneros don't even grow in the Philippines. But I, I, I used to like take these educated guesses about certain ingredients within cuisine based on, you know, is it something that's grown there regionally? And I kind, I started to abandon that as I kept doing the show because I kind of learned that, well, with globalization, that's really not as much of a thing anymore. However, I do, a, like, it is factual. There's no <laughs> habanero. Um, or really spice, if I'm remembering. No, there's no spice in uh, uh, Filipino adobo. Usually Filipino food not even spicy. No need to put chili in there. But if you want to put chili, use Filipino chili. Habanero. Oh. Habanero. That's the weirdest reaction to chili. Oh. Habanero. Oh. This is a Habanero. very Habanero. typical oh. okay. syndicated and TV reaction. And I think I know why he's plowing through this demonstration because he's got other things going on and he needs to get to it before it burns or overcooks. I, do you hear the consistent sizzle in the background? Oh. Habanero. You hear that sizzling back there? And I only know this because I've done some daytime television appearances before and you just have to like really plow through it and have everything set up. So he's probably not gonna cook that chicken right there. He's He's gonna have something already seared off or you know he has a, uh, a pork adobo a chicken adobo already done good to go and just based on what I'm observing from him and also uh, what I'm hearing to get it massage it you went for it with that habanero by the way massage it and put it in the uh, I couldn't give a shit <laughs> not again overnight it really it gets better okay marinating okay and we're gonna strain the marinade we're gonna reserve the marinade we're gonna See? keep yep. this. a lot of fun. Okay. Yes. Yep. Good. Oh. 
what did I tell you? So everything's just, every major step is already completed and ready to go. Again, this is a, maybe a half an hour show and Uncle Roger's reaction's about 10 minutes. So this is probably like a four minute segment within a 30 minute show. Um, so yeah, they're gonna have to skip over some steps. We're gonna take a, a beautiful Dutch oven. We're gonna sear it skin side down, get a really good okay. color. Searing sear. okay, but that optional. And who making a topo in this fancy Le Creuset sauce pan? Hiya. You know how expensive this is? They are expensive. Is 207? I should know. My wife uh, outfitted our entire kitchen with all of these pots and uh, they are not cheap. Fortunately, she's very thrifty and got them on great deals, but still, regardless. She has expensive taste. Just spending money on saucepans, spending money Those on expensive Those pans are awesome though, soup. worth every the penny. ingredient for adobo wrong? Why don't you spend money on Filipino cookbook instead? Hi. Uh, 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 uh. You can see the color that's happening here. It just looks fantastic, oh. right? There's just so much flavor. So, when they get nicely crusted, we're gonna take them out. Look nice. Put them on a dish. Look at all that, look at all that crust in the bottom of the pan. And you want to keep that skin oh. on and you need to, it was beautiful about that skin, it creates like a, a okay. flavor protector. And yes. so that's bullshit. All right, sorry, Jeff. No, it doesn't create a flavor protector. And that's just verbal diarrhea on, you know, food cooking show, television, syndicated television, where they just needed to fill up airtime and sound like they know what the f they're talking about. Not a knock on Jeff. I just find this happens a lot on uh, syndicated food television in general. There's a lot of verbal diarrhea of the O's and, you know, saying things that don't really mean anything or just is very inauthentic in my opinion, because you need to get your few words in to try to get a little bit of camera time as opposed to a platform like YouTube here where I feel it's a lot more authentic. Yeah, so that's why I no longer pursue food appearances on Food Network. With that said, um, you know, the year before I did beat Bobby Flay, I did do Chopped, which I lost. And if you want to see me react to that, maybe I'll make that the special for 200K subs because we're almost at 100K, right? Hey, if you're not already, make sure you subscribe because once I hit 100K subs, I will react to my episode of Beat Bobby Flay. And if you don't mind, hit the thumbs up and the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Really nobody cares <laughs> about those two people. They keep talking and he keep ignoring. Why they there? Are they still getting yeah, paid by Food Network to, to be ignored? To get Must this segment nice. done. But Uncle Roger's still married to ex-wife Auntie Helen. I get ignored for free. This good life, this one. Okay. Flavor protector and yes. insulator from so, all that So heat. to this, this fat you yeah, keep so here. so I don't care. Some onion? <laughs> no. Traditional adobo. No onion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Some onion. Garlic. You know who had a really good um, adobo dish was Andy Cook's? Great channel. Dude, I love reacting to that guy's shorts, but... Uh, Uncle Roger did a reaction to his adobo, and then he ended up putting out a pork adobo video, which was perfect. Abs I mean, it's basically spot on exactly what my buddies in uh, in, in Beijing, uh, the Filipino cover band would make. Uncle Roger also mentioned at the beginning of the video, everyone does it a little differently. These particular guys put a can of Coke in there. That was their secret ingredient, but uh, it makes sense. You know, Coke has sugar and sugar is part of adobo and also provides some coloring. A little salt and pepper. But wait, too much because we have- Wait, wait. That yeah, is some weak that ass the garlic. garlic you use? You just use what? Yeah. That too little nephew suit guy. When Uncle Roger making a <laughs> dope, I use like ten or twenty whole cloves of garlic. Yeah. Just smush the whole clove and throw in pot. Nephew suit guy, use the right amount, Few not the guy. right amount. Yeah. So no onions, but a lot more garlic. This 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 dish is about a lot of garlic. Vinegary, Some garlic. garlicky, For bay Asian leaves. Cooking, garlic is like money. It never Black enough. Pepper. Just putting five slices in yeah, there. That's don't not tease enough. us with your five little slices of garlic. I think I remember them making the marinade with garlic. Yeah, they didn't like sear it off or sweat it out like he's about to. I'm assuming he's gonna build it in the same pan that he seared the chicken in, deglaze it with the marinade. You know, that's that's how I would go about it. But uh, yeah, the garlic should be in the marinade already so it, the garlic flavor really penetrates the protein. Stir that just to pick up the flavor. It doesn't have to get very brown because this is gonna simmer for about 30 minutes. See that, it's not really, it's cooked, I just gathered all that stuff. And we're gonna do another gathering by deglazing with the marinade. Yeah. Deglazing? What 
What the glazing mean? Of adding a liquid to a hot pan, which, you know, removes all the bits that are stuck to the bottom. And that is what holds a lot of flavor. So I totally agree with that step for sure. And uh, what Jeffrey said is correct. Those onions and garlic that's in there, um, it's going to help release some of the fond. It's called fond that's stuck on the bottom of the pan. Uh, those caramelized bits rather because it's releasing moisture and the moisture is what's going to help lift that stuff off of the pan, but not quite enough. So you do need to put in some kind of liquid. Generally, you deglaze with something slightly more on the acidic side or something like wine. But, or in this case, you could use the marinade with the vinegar in there, but really it's just about any liquid just to help lift the fond off the pan. Oh, so deglazing just mean using liquid to clean the pan? <laughs> Then just say that, no need to no, show off you with can your say technical term. Life too short for this Le Cordon Blue cooking school boo. <laughs> deglazing. Does this guy also say he deglazing his toilet instead of <laughs> <laughs> That stuff. And we're gonna do another gathering by deglazing with the marinade. Okay. Very important in Filipino cooking with adobo is bay leaves. Bay leaf, correct? Yeah, that should no, go in the too, marinade too, too. But you really need the flavor. And just plain old fashioned water. Water, good. Yeah, water. But it's I a think lot of water. That too much. It's gonna be so watery later. Also depends what type of adobo you're making. If it's pork, you want to go a little bit more water because that pork, the pork belly rather, needs more time to cook and tenderize. So you need more liquid because by the time the liquid cooks out, evaporates, right, and the sauce reduces, it may not be enough time to fully cook through the pork. As opposed to something like chicken, which breaks down relatively quickly, you won't need nearly as much water, which is, you know, he's doing a chicken adobo. He shouldn't need that much water. Okay, you're gonna put that the chicken skin side up, back in. Yeah, cook in the sauce, correct? And we're gonna cook but this. This adobo gonna be so bland. Oh, it's great. No, it's, so gra nice. it's great, it's great. Not enough garlic, too watery, not enough. See again, it's great, it's great. Just fluff words filling up air time. Not to say I haven't done that. I, I, I've done cooking videos where I definitely fluff up, fluff up the words. And basically start to finish about 45 minutes. But after you get this. Look what? So Clapping. Clap, clap for what? That's not thick enough the water at ash. all. Yeah, the there, yes. It's the opposite of woman. It can definitely be too wet. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Sorry, children. This crowd so easily impressed. Uncle Roger need to get these people to come to my comedy show. <laughs> For real. I have rice, warm white Ooh. rice with no seasoning. Very important because that warm white Ooh. rice with no seasoning. Rice with no seasoning. It just called rice. That what we call plain rice in Asia. Just rice. Yeah. Nobody say rice with no seasoning. Yeah. Hi. Uh. Well, that's because uh, I, I would say in the Western world, it's much more common to season your rice as opposed to Asia, where you just make it completely plain. So you know he is catering to his audience, which is predominantly a Western audience. Do you also say, oh, I eating bread with no spread? Yeah, no, for real. We just say we eating <laughs> bread. Has all all the seasoning you need here, right? Outraged Uncle Roger. Oh, 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 oh. I want to see you react. Rice look okay. I hate the habanero is in there. Go. A little of that beautiful sauce on top. That looks oh. pretty darn good. Oh. Well, it look okay. Yeah, I mean, I would eat parsley out of that. What? What? what, what? Parsley. No, 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 no. Parsley. Some parsley. Mm. Parsley. Mm -mm into Filipino adobo. Asia don't use parsley, okay? There ain't no parsley in Asia. They don't want to be eating grass. Maybe spring onion, maybe cilantro. Even then, I would say if you needed, he, he needed some kind of garnish to put on there to give it a little bit more visual pop, right? Every single time I've eaten uh, pork adobo with my buddies, back in China. There was never even any greens on top. We just ate it with some rice and there was a couple other side dishes and that was it. But in this case, it has to be for TV. So he has to garnish it with something and really parsley, parsley. I put my leg down from chair. Parsley don't belong in Asian food. You're not making pasta. Uh, parsley and adobo, what the f***? What the f***? <laughs> nephew suit guy, what type of Asian food got parsley in yeah. it? I think this nephew suit guy want to put cilantro or spring onion, but he cannot find, so he go, oh, this parsley, also small green leaf type of thing. Put that <laughs> in there, nobody notice. Hiya. <sighs> Some parsley. I was always served for me with lemon. What? So really? Nobody eat adobo with... 
Uncle Roger, I eating a topo so many times now, never one time with lemon. Yeah, what you I mean never always had it with, lemon, with lemon. Where you eating your topo? Jamie Oliver restaurant, is it? Monsieur, thank you. Oh, slips right through. I can smell it. Uh, but look at that, too watery. Yeah, it's very uh, yeah, watery. Nephew needs suit guy, thick. it's all that going sauce okay. Needs to be thick. Until you add the parsley, and now it all f***ed up. Uncle Roger sat now. Well, that was terrible. That was god awful. Yet again, another display of Asian cuisine being completely butchered uh, and destroyed. But, you know, such is life. <laughs> I didn't mean to make it so dreary and on a down note. I'm going to have Jordan put up B roll from Andy Cook's. That is a pork adobo. Okay, look at the thickness of that sauce. Uh, you know, at the very end, he put some scallion for garnish. And even in the video, he says that's the chef in him. It's not really necessary. I do want to give a special shout out to my newest sous chef level patrons, Smink Sangura, Charles Feist. Guys, thank you so much for your support. And for the rest of you, please consider becoming a patron because you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new episodes, patron exclusive content, and even extended versions of certain episodes. With that said, hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And remember, or don't be afraid to fail because it can only make you stronger. And with that said, I'm Chef Ryan Sow, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon. Hey, focus!